Don't come up here. Okay, I won't. Thank you for letting me know. Bye. Alright, educational round. I should have started back there. Uh, Majestics, appreciate the Twitch Prime, bro. Let's go. Um, so there was one spawn further back. It was actually across the pond from me where I spawned. At that spawn, I when the spawn I got, I'll always just go straight for the the stash. First of all, for the loot. Second of all, because that other spawn's close enough to where and people are pretty familiar with it now to where the other spawn will turn around, look for me, see if I run his way. And when he doesn't see me running his way, he usually will just go about the route and will continue down this way. And so going and looting the stash kind of gives them that they, they, they miss the sight on me and then they go about their loot or run the, run their path. And then I'll do the um, run around the mountain in the drop down. That rogue will try to shoot at me. He's not ever hit me. Knock on wood. But uh, he'll just trail the shot behind you and you get down low and then work your way through. When you're running down that piping, I look for this door being open. If it's open, it's a, it's a good sign that the ground rogues are up. And so that's the first thing I'm looking for. And then the second thing is um, checking that they're not outside. Because just because the door is closed doesn't mean that they won't be outside. And usually if they're outside, they'll be chilling like right there. And so look for the door, look for them chilling there, and then work my way inside. When you get inside, or once you push up the building, check for them up on the platform. Usually, again, you're going to know if they're up there on the platform because of the door being open, or you'll just hear them talk. A lot of times they'll be at the far end and they'll pop a shot at you while you're looting and just dip into the side room if they do and try to take them from here whenever you do have to fight the rogues close on the ground or anywhere really don't do any slow leans you need to be in a right hand peak and you need to jiggle peek it a slow lean which puts you out like that they spot pretty quickly and will will shoot you a quick jiggle peek works better they don't they don't lock onto you as quickly and the quick jiggle peak would look something like this. You, it's not all the way out. So like if I lean all the way out, you see how much we could see of this. It's that. Like we don't even see the the um, forklift. And you'll do a diagonal step and jiggle peak it again. Sl slight jiggle peak. You're not leaning all the way because that takes too long. And then diagonal step. You want to step diagonally, not horizontally. Horizontally puts you out further. It's like five pixels out. Whereas the diagonal step puts you, puts you three pixels out. So it's, it's, it allows you to get a tighter peak. And so you do a jiggle peak to spot them. You don't see them. Diagonal step. Jiggle peak to spot them. Don't see them. Diagonal step. Jiggle peak to spot them. Oh, you see them this time. Jiggle peak to line up a shot. Then jiggle peak again to take the shot. It's a lot of jiggle peaking. It's not, it sounds more difficult than it actually is. But that's the best way to take out the rogues um, without them aimbotting you. Move that down. Okay, if you see anything past that that you want, make sure you go kill that rogue on the corner first. I wonder if I can actually get him from here. This is probably silly. Yeah, that's probably silly. I'm not going to do that. Um, if you want to grab something there, you can, but don't go any further down without killing that side rogue. We'll go ahead and loot in here. This is the barracks key. You got a rare item on this chair. Weapon attachments. We'll take this guy. Looks like he might have something in it that we want. Yep. Oh, M80. We'll reload that into this mag. Hit the box. More weapon attachments. We'll hit this box in the toolbox. I don't loot the jackets or the weapon cases. Not that they're necessarily bad to loot, but just mainly because uh, the time spent searching isn't necessarily worth it. You can get something good out of it. Most of the time you're not going to, and the more time you spend searching is more time the other PMCs or player scavs have to roll up on you. And so you want to try to run this efficiently and um, get through it as quickly as possible to avoid confrontation. Hit this dead body. It's the last thing we search in here. Grab those for XP. One more time. In that broken box, rare item spawn, in that room right there on the ground next to the tell or next to the the teleprompter or whatever um on the teleprompters storage and then on the table you get rare item spawns on the broken box right there next to the forklift rare item spawn and in that side room the first room i went into in the 
um, cardboard box, you get rare items once. So check all of those. When you get here, it's wisest to do a quick sidestep out just to make sure you're, you're peeking up at this corner rogue. You got to make sure he's not aiming up at the mountain. If he's aiming up at the mountain, you need to get his attention on you. Um, because what we're going to do is sprint straight across the Leroy Jenkins method. And you'll see he's going to shoot at me, but he's not going to hit me. See how he's trailing behind me? He's an idiot. He can't catch up. And now he's just going to be staring at me. Super free kill. Right in the face. But if he is focused up on the mountain, then when... Oh, got one. When he's focused up on the mountain, when he goes to, sh to shoot towards you, his bullet or path meets you mid run and he'll, he'll get you. It's really rare to have him aiming up on the mountain. And usually you're going to hear him popping shots at the mountain. So you kind of have a heads up, but better safe than sorry. You could do a quick peek out just to make sure that he's not. And then do the run. These toolboxes or tech crates rather have really good loot. That first one, not necessarily the best, but these are always super high priority. Sounds like we got a party coming our way. This room is the storage key, water treatment plant storage. It's a really good key. You get a folder of intel there, the toolbox, three more rare item spawns, and a tech crate. You can also get the blue folder here, folder of intel. Rare item here, in the box, and on top of this guy. And move this up and that up, and then we're gonna put both these down. I pick stuff up and send it back whenever I'm searching for the extra XP. Just gonna peek and make sure that no one's falling behind me. Looting stuff, even if you don't want it, levels up your perception and your attention quicker. Perception is... Yeah, I gotta deal with this guy. Don't come up here. Okay, I won't. Thank you for letting me know. Bye. Alright, back to what I was saying. Uh, perception lets you hear stuff further away. And once you max it out, you get that little white dot. See how like, I have the white dot there? If you stand over an item, you'll have the white dot pop up. And then attention gives you a chance to instant search something. You get a 50% chance to instant search. And so just spamming 50% over and over again, you can end up getting it pretty quickly. So both those are pretty clutch to have maxed out. So loot everything that you find in, inside a box, even if you don't want it and you just drop it. I wouldn't waste the time. Uh, I heard nothing. I wouldn't waste the time like trying to pick up a world spawn because when you do like this right here, you'll see that I, I can't move when I reach my hand out. I don't want that to be TMO. And so you're stuck there frozen for a little bit, which is an ideal. <laughs> yeah, hot. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it, my man. Enjoy the emotes and the ad for viewing. Nope. But yeah, try to, uh, try to loot what you can. And then drop it if you don't want it. But world spawns, not, not as worth. And then also ammo. Picking up ammo doesn't give you XP. So only, only take the ammo if you're actually going to uh, use it. Or if you want to sell it. Yes, ammo. Go ahead and grab this guy. I kind of feel bad about killing that scav. He seemed kind of nice. I uh, voiped for him not to come up here because the audio is fucked up. And all audio, even if I'm up top, will sound like it's on his level. And so I voiped that so he wouldn't, uh, wouldn't, go, wouldn't expect me to be ground level when I round the corner. Thought he was a PMC. 
but is what it is. Now play by the hand you're dealt. Play the hand you're dealt. And shitty audio is one of those hands. Alright. No rogue on that one. If he was, he's a free kill. Um, if he was if if one of them spawn, they both spawn on that building. It's either zero or two. Doesn't look like anyone spawned this time. Or someone's killed him already. Either way, not gonna have to worry about it. I haven't heard the rogues talk up top, so I'm pretty sure it only two spawn this round. It's either two or three up top. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy's loot real quick, see if he had anything worthwhile. And since we only heard, uh, or since we haven't heard another one talk, I think it was just the two. TT pistol ammo. And cheese. Oh, We're on top. I'm gonna go straight into this tent. Rare item spawn in the box and behind the beer bottles. And on the cardboard boxes there on the ground. Weapon attachments there. We're gonna swing to this side. Look for any ammo spawns on the boxes. Looking for BP mainly. BP, because we'll flea market it. SNB and 739 or PPBS is what it's called now. Uh, because we will vendor those and BS ammo because we use it. Not looking like we get anything. I'll take a suppressor though. Throwing it out on this guy. Grab some loot. Did you take you? Drop you. Let's see what we have here. PS ammo. It's got the red strip at the bottom with no colored top. Don't want it. And move these guys over. When he does, that's, I dropped this backpack off because if I, if I didn't drop his backpack off, then whenever I control left click, it would have sent it into the backpack first. But since I dropped the backpack, it sends it into his storage rig first. Control left click uh, over here would bring it over to my character like so. There we go. And then alt left click would put it onto my character. I'm gonna run back this way. We had I think two kills on this one. Or I might be mixing up my rounds on the two. We got got one at least for sure. Grab the barter items from the ground. Nothing on top of here. And then this. Whenever I search this, I duck and look at the ground. It just minimizes the chance of getting headshot. There we go. Yeah, we do have two over here. Perfect. I loot you up. An M4. Remix. What do we have here? Nope, not a. That was the MOE butt pad that sells well. Eh, M855. Let's go to ammo. Uh, it's, we can tell because it's got the green tip. It's good ammo to flea market. Not necessarily the best ammo to use, but it's not the worst to use either. Go ahead and move this stuff over and take you. And also, I'm going to take you. Let me put the flashlight or the laser on him. Let me crawl back. Loot this guy up now. He also has another storage rig, but I can't take it because of these two already. You can only carry two LBCRs. So don't have to worry about that one. There we go. Might as well take the pistol. Because we don't have northern. Hopefully the car is up. It is not. Okay, it looks like we're going to be taking the back mountain pass. Drop this bag off. We're going to run back this way. Up, up, and over this. Drop down. Turn around. And drop down again. Make the push forward. We'll grab this water. Just because. But we have two more stashes. Three if we didn't 
loot the one that we spawned by but two more stashes to hitch which should provide us with a little bit more loot we're gonna go ahead and tag this guy as well not too worried about the beanie what we can do is move you over remove everything over drop these guys oops There we go. What we could have done was move this down and put the belt on. Which honestly, let's do that. But in doing so, we need to make sure we still have our mags um, here ready to rumble. And our meds. Five, eight, nine. Do that one zero. We could potentially take the gun too if we really wanted to, but it's kind of risky. So we have to move these guys up, which isn't that big of a deal. Because then we got to move this guy down. Let me take the beer too. Perfect. There we go. Oh. All right. 73 kilograms. I'm going to pop the mule. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to get back to the extract. Mule lets you carry a lot more weight, which is nice. We should be able to regain stamina while we uh, walk through. I want some heat. the hell are you, sir? Did you still spawn? What you got, brother? To the Zuck, kind of want to loot it. See what we have here, space wise. Nah. Alright, continue on. How do you know there's not one more? Uh. I didn't really. I uh, kind of just guess more than anything. So two two things on that. One, you can have max of four 
scavs in your group, right? Max of four. So we took three of them out, which leaves one potentially up. There was one on the ground level and then the two up top. And uh, whenever I was first peeking and ran by, we saw the one ground level. Well, two, the second one was AI, but the one ground level and he was pushing up. Then the two up top that was shoot they were shooting me and the two up top were popping shots whenever at me whenever and they came from an angle that they couldn't have been ground level if the person was ground level he would have pushed with his teammate they both would have pushed my way but they didn't just one of them did so one person on the ground and then if there was another one up top he would have been getting an angle and taking shots as well so we would have had three people shooting at me from up top there was only two different weapon types that shot me from up top so just based on what people are likely to do, that's how I assumed that there was only three in that group because the if there was one on the ground, he would have pushed with his duo. If there was a third one up top, he would have shot with the other duo. So just basing it off what people are likely to do. And then, then another thing, before I looted the guy, the hat guy, I ran further down a little bit and gave some, someone an opportunity to pop a shot at me to kind of bait, baited out a potential shot. And when he, no one shot at me, I went back and looted the guy with the hat. Yeah. With how aggressive the first three played, I don't think that there would have been one ratting, but there was the potential that there was a fourth one that was, uh, slowed down and chugging behind his teammates. You don't always stay close, close uh, together. And so there could have been one, you know, coming in late to the fight that that was the the thing but it's not like that was a super quick fight so i think he would have been there a little quicker if the fight was over and done with really quick then there was a higher chance of there being a fourth but since it was done with uh slowly i don't think there was a fourth yeah let's go chris i'm gonna do the sub as well if we get another 40 subs we'll do a 24-hour stream tomorrow the 40 subs and we're doing a 24 hour. Or I'm sorry, 60 subs. I'm fucking terrible at math. 60. <laughs> we get to the 100 on the day. We get to 100 on the day. We'll do the uh, 24 hour stream tomorrow. We're going to go hardcore rubling, super sweat, and we're going to see how much, how, how many rubles we can make in a 24 hour period. 